Hello. Hello. So for this video we have come to the woods and we are planning to build a tiny little home inside the hole of a tree. And the challenge is that we're not going to use any glue or any unnatural materials because the plan is to leave it in the hole and just walk away. <laughs> yeah. So the first mission was to find a hole. We found the hole <laughs> and it's a perfect one because it's got multiple holes around it as like little windows. Yeah, but some lighting. Yes, we will be using LED lights to light it for the picture but they will be coming home with us. So the next mission was to gather some local stuff to use. We were then really lucky and spotted these very friendly tiny horses, ponies, <laughs> they that had they were very friendly. That had luckily left us some horse hair on their fence, which is gonna be great for tying things together. Yes. <laughs>
tun? <laughs> Remember, it's probably going to sink into the ground because it's yeah. all squishy. Yeah, I think that's a good height. So we've put some holes in this. I think the dowels are too long because <laughs> there is one table leg, no glue, all natural materials. So, see if it stands up. Yeah, <laughs> it will. It's fine. A table. Where's your little bowl with your little apple? There's just been lots of things on the table, <laughs> falling over wine glass. Giant bowl. Hmm. Woohoo! Okay. No glue. Now just some chairs. Trim this off, I think. something doesn't it to make it cute cute yes <laughs> no glue but it does hang and like a hat this isn't the coat rack but i think we should have one <laughs> nice we could have a walking stick too <gasps> Yes! Or an umbrella. Oh, I might be able to turn one of these into an umbrella. Yeah. Nice. So now I'm going to make a little teapot out of this acorn. I'm just using a drawing pin to poke little holes in it. Hmm, nope, that one. 
one's falling apart. <laughs> spout piece of willow where would a teapot spout be it's at the bottom isn't it why can't i picture a teapot a teapot looks like the spout starts at the bottom Round with a handle there and a well, sort of the middle. The middle? Middle, bottom. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'll do it here and see how it looks. Yeah, it's the middle. All the broken teapots we've ever found, there's a hole, and it's sort of in the I can even hold it by the handle. For no glue. Pretty chuffed with that. Now we've got also got these little dried flowers. They're amazing and curly. And I think we're gonna make a couple of wine glasses. But we just need to think of something to use as the base of them. I've tried chopped off poppy seed bottoms with, and then bored a hole into them but it doesn't look quite right um, do the stars can you cut oh, the star yeah. a bit further down there's one It need, yeah, no, it won't stand up. They're too delicate. We need to. Really, I suppose we just need. I mean, ideally. Then you'd want to sort of shave down the side till it's wine glass shape. Oh, but that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> that, that, it works pretty well. Should whittle a bottle. That's not easy to say. Ooh, whittle a bottle. We should whittle a bottle. Although these these upside down yeah, the look like bottles. Poppy heads. They do. They really do. They do. <laughs> well, we don't need to whittle a bottle then. <laughs> yeah, not easy to say. But it kind of needs a longer neck. I wonder if we could do that somehow. Like a tiny. Yeah. Well, that's about the same thickness as that, though, isn't it? It's because it's hairy. Maybe we need to sand it down. <laughs> it doesn't look hairy. I mean, these look like milk bottles. Well, they look like a bottle of some description. Mm. So I don't know if we should just have these, but also maybe try and make a wine bottle. It doesn't look like a wine bottle, does it? It looks like an... Um, a t there are wine bottles that look like that. Mm-hmm. Short and stumpy. Do I need to take the bottom off? Because it's got like it's not standing, it's not staying flat, is it? Okay. It's sandy if it doesn't sit completely flat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we? What about the poppy seed heads at the, at the moment? Are they not good for anything? Not, that's what is. This is a poppy seed head. Oh, okay. If you had a big fat one, then you could hollow it out and put your light in it. That would look nice because they're the right shape. Well, we do need to go to the allotment today. Well, 
that before we take them, I'm going to spread the seeds around. Slippery. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Right, I'm gonna do this off screen. Do this off guess. screen. Um, <laughs> fingers crossed that um, it works. <laughs> so, horse hair didn't work, so it's gonna be a case of drilling holes. Very carefully, into a very small stick. So, thicker ladder, thicker ladder sticks. I mean, that works more with the table anyway, doesn't it? Bigger ladder. Yeah, we've gone a bit bigger scale because it's. <laughs> yeah, that's because of what the reason you just saw. Ladder 2.0. <laughs> look weird if the sticks are that small and the ladder's this big. 
Uh, that'll be a very light mouse. Attempt number three for ladder. difficult because if it gets much bigger then I it, it has to be a dowel system instead of just a simple Horse hair, so fine. It's so fine. I can't even tell you had it and I've dropped it. <laughs> it needs about three strands though, or it's not strong enough.
No glue again. I'm putting the big one here. Mm -hmm. So spongy. <laughs> yeah, the sand's good. Oh, is that, that um, the raspberry does black, black currant, black berry. <laughs> all of the all of the berries. It's because of the leaf. I lost my good leaf. A flattened leaf. I might need the tweezers to employ the tweezers. out of the way.
the ladder. And we've lost the ladder. We really to appear to only have one stick. <laughs> and the ladder. It's a really large bee. How cute would that be? If the bee came to live in our house. I think. <laughs> oh. Bottles. And your lamp. Yes, I have to build a lamp. The <laughs> That one can go in the background. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Everything's a bit wonky, but it's quite hard. <laughs> well, yeah, and without using any wax or, or glue, glue or anything, I mean, all stuff that can be left. Naturally. Naturally, just to be here and it's good, it's perfectly safe for the environment and nature. Yeah, it's obviously all going to be a bit wonky. It looks real cute though. Is that everything except for the lights, which we're yeah, going the lights, to make? Yeah, the lights, one in the fireplace and one on the, yeah, the wall, yeah. We're going to make and then take away with us. Yes. Because they do require glue and also because they, um, the LED lights will not um, biodegrade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they are not safe to leave in the words. I couldn't think of that word. So we're not going to put the actual lights in though until it gets dark. But here is, so we've got this poppy seed head, which just perfectly looks like the base of a lamp. And then I, you saw me sewing a lampshade, it'll sit higher once the LED light is in, of honesty seeds, and it'll be a lamp. <laughs> you get the gist. You'll see it in the dark. Yeah. We've got to hang around now. Yeah. Let's take some shots of it. Ooh. Looking like this. Wow. <laughs> We did it. It was slightly more stressful than I thought it was going to be not using glue. All the legs kept falling off. Yes, and, and, and it was really prickly because there was loads of <laughs> sweet was chestnuts. There was a sweet <laughs> chestnut tree. And even whilst doing it, they kept on falling around I was us. I thought I was going to get hit on the head. Yeah, I really did. They fell with quite some velocity. Yeah. But it looked and so... Brambles. Yes, yeah. But it looked so cute. It did look very cute. I was surprised. It looked really cute. Unfortunately, it doesn't, even on camera, it doesn't quite, the lighting was difficult in the dark, but it looked a lot brighter inside the hole in yeah. real life. And yeah, it was, it was very, very cute. Yeah. I just hope that someone finds it before a squirrel goes mad in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if a squirrel finds it, there's acorn and yeah, blackberry. Yeah. I just like maybe a child to think a fairy had moved in or something, yeah. just briefly. That's the whole reason, yeah, that's why we left it there. We could have made it easier for ourselves and glued stuff and just taken it away, but yeah. we really liked the idea of it leaving Being it found, there and someone yeah. someone spotting it. Yeah. Let's just hope that yeah, it lasts. For, maybe we'll go back and see what it, if yeah. it's survived at all. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was our mini treehouse and we hope you enjoyed it. And we just have to say a massive thank you and welcome to all of our new subscribers yes, that new subscribers. joined us from the clock film. And, and of course everyone that's ever subscribed and ever left a comment or liked a video. We couldn't do it without it and we really appreciate it and you. And we've got lots of very exciting ideas yeah. for miniatures. We've decided for a while we're gonna be doing these Mini, like big, bigger films, mini longer bigger films, films, bigger films, bigger mini films, whole maybe. projects all in one. But I that does mean they're going to be fortnightly now. 
Yes, for the for the for the foreseeable future, yes, every two weeks on a Tuesday. Because they take a lot longer to put together. This <laughs> film took a long time. So if you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos, we'd love to hear um, in the comments down below. And we are also so close to 20,000 subscribers and that would be amazing. And we do have a really big project in mind for when we get to 20,000 subscribers. So if you do enjoy the videos and you're not subscribed, it is free and there's a button down below. So we hope you have a wonderful two weeks and we will see you then. Bye. Bye.